If you are learning DevOps course or recently completed and struggling to get a DevOps job, then this video is for you. Welcome to Velaxi Technologies. My name is J.R. Shankar. In this video, I will give few tips which will help you to crack interviews in DevOps. I am very much confident that this video will help you to reduce the time which you required to get into DevOps job. Each point in this video is very important. So please watch till the very end or at least listen to it as it is just more like an audio. So let's jump into first point. When to upload my resume? Most of the learners having a confusion that, okay, I have completed my course. Now let me do a revision or let me practice all the course once again before attending the interviews. But practically it won't be possible. Why? Because during the training, you might be spending at least one or two hours to listen the class and at least one or two hours to practice. Which means that almost you are spending three to four hours of your time to engage with the technology. Once course is completed, it is quite difficult for you to spend similar kind of amount because you might be busy with your day-to-day -day activities or due to some other reasons. You may go into the relaxed mode as well. In these cases, you are going to lose the touch with technology and also you will get scared to attend the interviews. And also you are going to lose your confidence that, okay, I haven't practiced it. That's the reason you should upload your resume as soon as possible once you have completed the course. I will tell you one more scenario. So once the course is completed, some set of the people might be ready to learn more before hitting the market, which means that they might want to add some additional services or tools to their skill set. But while reading or learning those, they will end up identifying new new tools and concepts. That is where they will be getting confused that whatever they have learned might not be sufficient to hit the market. So they end up reading more and more rather than attending the interviews. If you are doing that one, you are unnecessarily wasting your time, which may not require to help you to work in your real world or to attend the interviews. Let's take the Jenkins over here. These are the concepts which are available on Jenkins, but you know only this much. If you are started looking at Jenkins, you will think that, okay, entire tool you need to be proficient. But to be honest with you, if you want to become a proficient on each and every tool, it may take average two to three months. Rather than if you attend the interview, it tells you that, okay, what are the required topics in that specific tool? So you know only this much, whatever gap is there, you can just fill that gap by learning those services. This is how you need to structure your learning. Otherwise, you will end up just learning. I'm talking about only one tool. If we have 10 to 15 tools in DevOps, you just understand how much time you are going to take. Instead of getting a job, you will be doing PhD on each tool. It is really not needed, right? Maybe if you want to go deeper in a tool, then try to do it once you join in an organization based on your work. So concentrate on what market is expecting rather than what is there in the syllabus. Okay. With that context, I can say that you need to upload your resume as soon as possible once the course is completed so that you will be get in touch with the technology. You don't lose the confidence and also you know what you should learn to crack the interviews. All right. Next thing I can advise one thing that who hits the market first, they get job first. Because the guys who doesn't upload their profile, they don't have much knowledge what is market is expecting. So, and if you want to hit the market, of course, you need resume templates, right? So, if you ask me that where I can get the resume templates, I can help you over here. This is our website where we host our courses, courses.velaxi.in and you can see here DevOps model resumes and you can enroll it for free. We kept around 50 plus resume templates over here. You can download it if it is really needed. And also we provide professional services like if you are not sure how to prepare your resume and you need some experts help, then reach out to us. We will help you. Next thing, build technical social proof. Nowadays, it is quite common to check your social media profiles during the job screening process. So maintain your social profiles, which can showcase that you are a DevOps enthusiastic person. Maybe rather than be active in Instagram or Facebook, be active in LinkedIn or some technical discussion forums like Quora, Stack Overflow and few other forums. And also try to write documentation, nothing but whatever you learn, you can document it in GitHub or Medium or on your own blog as well. 
if you document it it will be helpful for the people who are in the same communities so that you will get more visibility and also you can get connect with like minded people which means that who are working on devops or who are writing the similar kind of things so that you can share knowledge or exchange knowledge and also it will help you to get the references because they know the work what you are doing so that they will get more confident to refer you in their organizations even that will help you to improve your linkedin profiles with the similar kind of people so concentrate over here because most of the recruitments are happening through the linkedin nowadays so build your linkedin profile accordingly next thing script your common interview questions we know that some of the interview questions they are going to definitely ask during our interview process like at least initial four or five questions could be quite common like tell me about your project what is your roles and responsibilities walk through with your project these kind of questions if they are asking these common questions why can't we script it if you script it it is very easy for you to launch the interview in smooth manner so the initial questions you can able to handle very smoothly so that you will be confident that okay it is going smooth and even interviewer also feel the same thing but if you don't answer initial questions properly or if you are fumbling or if you are confusing then it will create a panic situation so that you may not answer going forward questions even though you know the answer because initially i didn't answer these questions properly so even though i am going to answer all these questions he may not take me that is the reason you should script your quite commonly asked questions i have displayed some of the questions over here that is tell me about your project what are the day to day responsibilities tell me about your overall experience walk through with your resume explain about your tool set which you are using in this project what do you do daily in your office what is the team size how many environments do you have how many servers do you have these are the quite common interview questions you need to script it even we discuss all these questions in our devops practitioner training we train the students in such a way that how to answer these questions okay next thing interview is an discussion not an interrogation many people once they join in a call or join in interview they feel that policeman is going to interrogate the thief or criminal but interview should not happen like that interview should be like a discussion interview should happen like talking with your friend try to build general conversation try to explain how you are working in your environment and also if you don't know answers for some of the questions ask them how they are doing it if you ask they will tell you that how they are doing with that you can understand that you might have done the similar kind of work you can build the conversation around there and also it doesn't mean that you should only talk about the technical in the interview even you can discuss some general topics where related to the technicals if you do that one interviewer and even you get opened up and you will have a healthy discussion that is where you can able to expose your skills more efficiently in front of the interviewer but some cases the interviewers might not be opened up or even they want to showcase them as a more technical person rather than you so if you give some right answers even they think that it is not correct because they might have done the same activity in some other way and they know only that way in such kind of cases okay it's acceptable but many cases they are ready to open up and discuss like a friendly environment next don't run behind the job description this is the one of the biggest problem whenever you receive an email from the recruiter or if you go to the job portal once you gone through with the job description then you realize that some of the tools you are not aware then what do you do you start learning those after learning and you will come back again you will go through with the job descriptions of some of the recruiters again you realize that some of the tools are still missing again you go back and learn it if you are doing that you never ever face the interviews because technology is endless if you see the devops tools there are 100 plus tools at least 10 tools in the each segment it is quite difficult for you to match the job description what they have mentioned but that is completely okay because in version control system you might be using github they might be using bitbucket in the continuous integration you might be using tim city but they might be using jenkins so don't worry about that one if you know one tool you can easily grab how the other tool is going to work even interviewers also going to accept that you don't worry so don't run behind the job description if you do that one even if i ask after 10 years what you are doing you are preparing for devops interviews tell a friendly that what you are doing in your project or whatever projects you have done what are the tools you have used 
they are going to ask relevant questions to that one another thing in devops job market your profile may matches 60 to 70 percent or 80 percent okay don't think that you can able to match the completely okay most of the cases most of the cases it is never going to happen even though your profile matches 70 to 80 percent recruiters are okay to schedule the interviews that is the reason those emails landed in your inbox and even interviewers also going to take the interviews you will get selected once you jump into the organization you can able to handle so don't worry about that one you are completely okay next track your interview questions now you started attending the interviews after a couple of interviews especially after four or five interviews you realize that at least 50 to 60 percentage of the interview questions are common which means that you need to crack remaining 40 to 50 percent at least if you could able to answer 80 to 90 percentage of the questions in interview you are getting selected the chances you are more likely getting selected probabilities are more because you know what and all questions they are going to ask because you need to structure your explanation if you are getting confused maybe take the help of mentor or the guy who is already working in devops ask the questions whether you are answering the right format or not if not ask them how to answer it because if you are discussing with the people you will come to know that okay how they are answering and how you are answering where you can improve because more than one brain thinks better than a single brain so discussing with other people will definitely help you to improve your knowledge so these are the some of the tips which you can follow to crack the interview if you can able to do this one there is a more chances that you can clear the interview but if you are looking for some mentorship or professional expert help then we are starting a new program called devops interview preparation session this is only for the people who has already completed their devops training and want to crack the devops interview in this program you are going to get commonly asked interview questions with answers next recorded videos access for two months three live sessions in a week where you can come and join and ask your questions whatever you are facing in the interviews we will be answering those next building technical social proof we will help you to what kind of articles you need to write where you can write and how to improve your connections next capstone project we are going to do a complete project on devops to showcase in your resume next classroom access it is for the people who are in the bangalore we are at hsr layout you can come over here once you have enrolled even i will be over there and help you to clear your doubts next resume preparation once this is done we are going to help you with the resume preparation next mock interviews we take a couple of mock interviews to validate your skill next marketing your profile once we have taken mock interviews you reach to the market expectation then we market your profile because we know few companies who are hiring especially from galaxy hope this information is helpful and see you in next interesting video